We're in Outlook 2019. Let me show you how to export just your calendar to a backup file or in case you want to uh, email that off to someone. So let's go ahead and go to the file menu at the top. Go to open and export. And from here we'll have the option to e import export and we'll choose to export to a file. Let's go ahead and click next. Let's choose the PST file. That's the one that Outlook recognizes the most. And we'll choose just the calendar. So instead of choosing the root at the top, we're going to choose just the calendar. Now, if you hit the expand button, we see there's multiple different calendars here. So if I want, I can also choose birthdays, United States holidays, uh, or I can just choose the calendar itself. So if I don't want these sub calendars, I'll just uncheck include subfolders. And then that way I'll only get my calendar. If I want those other calendars as well, then I'll just go ahead and choose include subfolders. But in this case, I don't need those. Let's go ahead and click next. And from here, we're going to browse to the location where we want to save it. And I'll just put in that it is my calendar. And we'll choose OK. And as far as the options go, since this is the first time I've exported using this name, there are no duplicates. But if I do this a second time, then I may want to choose whether or not to export the duplicates. Let's go ahead and click Finish. And now we get the option to password protect it. So I don't need to put in a password, but you can certainly do that if you'd like. Go ahead and click OK. And we'll go ahead and hit the Minimize button. And now we see our calendar. And if we right click and go to Properties, uh, we see it's a very small calendar in this particular case because I don't have a lot in it for demo purposes. But uh, it does show you that the calendar is now been protected. So if you want to go to uh, see the calendar, then you can go to File, and you can choose Open and Export. You can choose an open calendar file, but in this particular case, it's not the PST file that we exported to. So don't choose that option. Choose the Open Outlook data file instead, and we'll choose the calendar file. Now what we can do is we can go down to where it says calendar at the bottom and we can choose to see that calendar. So we go ahead and take a look for where it says Outlook data file. So here's our calendar Outlook data file. This is the one that we imported. Whereas these other calendars all have names next to them or you know in this case it says holidays and birthdays etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So we just want to look at the one that says Outlook data file. That's the one that we just exported and then opened. So if we check that box then we can see that the new calendar off to the right here is the one from the Outlook data file as you see here. So that's how you export and open a, an Outlook calendar in Outlook 2019.